Hello everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in County Line. I'm just getting back here to the house after meeting a group of friends for breakfast here and hey, when it's warm out, I'm always driving one of the old classic trucks, but today is the Ford F100 here, but we're getting back here to the property. We do a few things uh, we need to get done. I do want to wash this truck, but I think that might have to wait uh, maybe for a Sunday morning uh, or even tomorrow morning, but let's put this in the garage and get going on a few projects projects. The old Ford F100 is a joy to drive here. I'm really excited to have these farm trucks here. We also have a first gen Cummins, which is pretty exciting here, but maybe we just have to find an old Chevrolet. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing, but guys, the grass is grown. We're gonna have to mow every single week now, especially with all that spring rain uh, that we do end up getting here. But the very first project, guys, I'm pretty excited for. We got Diesel a brand new doghouse here. I wanted to get him a big dog house one that just had more room uh, for him but uh, before we do that let's give him a bowl of food watch guys diesel's gonna be running on over come on over here diesel yeah look at that runs right on over and gets a bite to eat here so i'm gonna go i uh, get some tools from the uh, garage here get going on assembling the new dog house well guys, here it is. The new dog house looks pretty sweet here. Why don't we give Diesel another bowl of food? I'm really excited about this one here. This thing looks awesome. I, I really do like the look of it. And it's definitely nice to change it on up here. Let's see if I can pick up the ball really quickly. And I cannot here. So, I think guys will just get going on the next uh, few projects. Out front, guys, we did spread some mulch out here, so I just want to add a few uh, flowers here to the mulch bed. And then we actually do need to get on the roadway here to get going on the big thing here today. But let's see if we can put a few flowers here in the mulch bed. I also do want to get some nice edging, uh, probably the uh, plastic edging. That way we keep the mulch inside the uh, mulch bed, uh, the landscape bed, not all over our gravel driveway. I added some nice yellow flowers here, and I also did add some small bushes. I think I'm going to add some more on the other side here. But guys, we actually have to head over to the local farm because we are going to be borrowing a farmer's old uh, skid steer. You guys might be asking, Square, well, what's the project? Well, guys, I want to make some investments here, and I found the perfect opportunity. I found just about a quarter acre of land here. It's actually right near a, a very popular uh, mountain that people come from all over to go hiking. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is we are going to be taking a machine over there and we are going to be building a log cabin here. It's going to be a vacation rental. I'm going to put it up on all the vacation rental sites. We should be able to make a few thousand dollars a month uh, once we get it rented. And that should be pretty cool. And hey, we could also go there maybe once a month as well and just enjoy it there. But I'm thinking we'll take the F-150 5.0 here. Definitely going to be maxing out the tone capacity uh, with a skid loader here, but it's about an hour, hour and a half drive. I didn't want something too far since. We're going to have to go there maybe to do maintenance, things like that. And you definitely don't want it to be uh, so far that you just have to hire it out. Because if we could do the maintenance ourselves, we'll also save a little bit of money there as well. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button. It's much appreciated. And if you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. We have almost daily videos and uh, they're always pretty unique here. Lots of different series on the channel and we are starting the new farming series. There should be a video later on uh, uh, this weekend as well, which is pretty exciting. But let's head over to the farm. Uh, the farmer said we could borrow it for however long we need. We really need it to put in the gravel driveway and then I uh, we I am gonna be hiring out the log cabin it's actually already built they have to just get it dropped off all right we're here at the farm I think this farmer uh, has right around four to five hundred acres it's just a small uh, farm here in town but oh yeah he has it right out uh, front here for us he said the key will be on the tire and we are gonna go to take it so we'll, we'll fill it up on diesel before we drop it off and uh, 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 I think that's just a nice thing to do here. But wow, guys, this is definitely pretty old, but it's going to get the job done here. This is the John Deere 675, a pretty uh, big bucket on it. Wow, this thing, guys, is a little bit on the smaller side. But hey, I'm just excited to get to work with it. Let's get it fired on up here and let's get it loaded up.
I'm a bit rusty here with these controls here. Definitely a lot of leeway there with the controls. Uh, just with how old it is here. But it should get the job done here for us. We'll put a few straps on it. And we should be good to go here. But I'm just so excited to have a log cabin. Uh, and we should be able to make a decent amount of money with it. And it should be uh, awesome here. So I'm just going to double check the uh, tie down straps. And then we'll get going. Like I mentioned guys, we have about an hour, hour and a half drive here, so I'm going to put down the camera, and I'll catch you guys back. We're just around the corner from the entrance to the street where our property is at, but I will say guys, for about an hour worth of driving, this F-150 did a pretty good job here. We didn't really have any sway, and uh, we are averaging pretty decent miles per gallon here, which is definitely good to see. But guys, like I mentioned, we are actually here. So this is a very popular mountain. You guys can see it here in the distance. But our property is actually right here. Uh, I had the uh, county come in and put a culvert pipe that way. We didn't have any uh, flooding problems at our uh, area here. And I think it was required. So let's do a quick walk around here. So like I mentioned, guys, it's 0.25 acres. It's a very small piece of land but hey that's all we need here so we're gonna be building a nice gravel road all the way in and uh, luckily there's enough trees already spread out enough so we don't even need to uh, take any uh, pine trees down and we're gonna put the log cabin right about here it's gonna be off the road we want to be able to have it so a regular sedan and SUV could drive out here because more than likely people are gonna be coming from the city areas like that uh, to uh, stay at the log cabin here so I think we'll get started here with a skid loader uh, trying to first uh, remove all this grass all the topsoil and then to spread some gravel I'm really excited to try out this old skid steer here it actually was a brand new mod came out yesterday which is a uh, pretty exciting as well here but I will say this definitely has enough power. This is a very simple job uh, for what a machine like this should be able to do here. So we'll first get a nice gravel road and then uh, that way the trucks can get back in here. We definitely don't want them to get stuck. That wouldn't be too good. Well guys, we got it ready to go for gravel here, and the truck just arrived with about three tons of gravel here. Let's get a nice full bucket load. This looks to be more kind of just laying a stone here, uh, mixed uh, gravel, which is no problem. We just need to make sure there's no dirt here because during the spring and fall uh, and during the rain, um, uh, there is going to be a lot of mud here. That isn't going to be too good. Uh, so once we do this, guys, they should be here anytime now with a cabin. It's a pre-built one that they are just going to put on some uh, uh, foundation blocks is uh, probably the best way to describe it here. Wow, nice full bucket load with this uh, skid steer. But this thing, guys, although uh, it is small, I kind of like the maneuverability and just how easy it is to operate, even though the controls are a little bit rusty. Well guys, here it is. The log cabin is built here and I did buy it fully furnished here, which means we don't need anything. We got a nice small fire pit outside uh, to just sit by it at night for our uh, renters. But guys, this is pretty awesome here. So it says everything we need. There's actually a loft up there with a bed and there's also a bedroom down here. But look at this, guys. I mean, we should be able to make a thousand or two each month in a uh, profit here. I'm going to be putting this on all the uh, kind of videos. Uh, vacation rental sites as well so I'm pretty excited for this and I would definitely have to keep you guys updated here but guys it is running late it's already 6 p.m. I definitely need to find a local diner to grab a bite to eat uh, get everything loaded up and get on back home here so about an hour hour and, uh, and a half drive back but until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more